Well, hello everybody. This is Travis. Welcome back to Razor Garage. Now, in the last video, the um, preventative maintenance video, the uh, after ride checklist video, uh, showed you how to check things on your side by side to uh, ensure that you have a good, safe, happy ride your next time out without getting stranded somewhere. And we noticed last time that uh, these bushings on the knuckle, the bearing carrier assembly, whichever you want to call it, the, the top bushings, the bottom bushings, they were bad on both sides and we have a bad CV joint. So uh, we're going to go through how to disassemble and replace these. Now I have the other side already apart and this was the side with the most trouble because it has the bad CV boot so we're going to take this apart. Now I've already taken the cotter pin out of the axle nut so we're going to take the brake caliper off. We're going to take the brake caliper off and we're going to take the axle nut off. Now we're going to pull the hub out and then we'll take the bolts out for these two for the top and bottom bushings that are bad. We'll do that. You have to unbolt the sway bar on both sides so you can get this sway bar up out of the way so you can pull the axle out. Just like that. And there's the axle. So now we're going to go to the bench. And you know, since I got the camera on, we're probably not going to be able to do this on the first try, but you know, everything doesn't work perfect. You're going to take your your boot pliers. Well, apparently I can't get that one. Well, we'll try to get this one. Okay, now that I've ground my the stop out of here, we can <clears throat> and now we can get them off. I'm gonna wedge my knife under there. You know, there's probably another way to do that, but I don't know. I'd like to try to save these. Even though the kit comes with new ones. <clears throat> and there we go. We got a boot band and we can save this one. We'll put the new one on. Uh, the little one, I actually smashed it off with a hammer and a chisel. So, okay with that. I'm good with it. Now we have to get the boot broke loose. And, you know, this boot's bad, so, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, we'll get that back. Now we're down to our CV joint. I'm going to wipe some grease off of it and we're going to take this all apart and clean it before I repack it with grease and everything. So, where's the end of my clip? There's a clip around the inside of here that holds the in, this inside. <clears throat> Trying to find the end of it. And we'll just pop.
Okay. I'm going to turn it a little bit. There's the clip from the inside. Lay that over here on something clean. And now we can slide the joint apart. My bench ain't the cleanest. I'm going to set it on a rag. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. Because, you know, there was a hole in it. There could be dirt and water and whatnots in there. And I'm going to clean it all up. And I'm going to take this apart. Take all the, the ball bearings out. Clean this. And then I'll come back and we'll knock this inside part off. Alrighty, we got we got this all cleaned out, and I got my all my ball bearings out. They're uh, all clean, and this bearing carrier assembly. This is on here like this. So you know, after you get the bearings out and clean, you want to take that, slide it down your shaft out of the way. Now, you don't want to hit this with anything hard because you don't want to damage this surface. Just, I have this brass hammer that I made. Uh, that I made. <laughs> and we're going to put this brass hammer against here because we don't want to hit this hardened steel with a piece of hardened steel because you're going to damage it. And you're just going to give it some... couple of whack that come right off we're going to turn it and give that a whack now we're going to take that and set it just the way it came off just like that now there's a clip here we're going to take that clip off and put a new clip in we're going to take this this bearing carrier and you have to take note of the way that comes off too because it has to go back on the same way that you took it off okay I'll finish cleaning that but now that we have all this off we can take our damaged CV boot well I guess there was a little bit of water a little bit of water there not uh, not super bad though so I'm gonna continue cleaning here and then we'll reassemble so we got the uh, new boot here it's the same as the other one but <coughs> we're gonna put it on there we're gonna go past where we need to now we're gonna take this <coughs> we're gonna take this clip out Try not to shoot it across the shop because I want to save it. Yeah. Now I'm probably going to stab myself in the finger. Okay, we got it part way off. Once you get that first piece off, we're going to save that for a spare um, with the other boot clamp, wherever the, I put it. It's over there. And we're going to take our little parts pouch and we're going to get our boot clamps and our little snap ring clip out the boote clamps and then we're gonna work it in and we're gonna start at the bottom we're gonna hook it on one side yeah you know sometimes you can't get a good camera angle on everything so we just got to make do here
And there it is. Squirrely little bugger. And so, this was on this way. I gotta put that on. And then, you put this back on. And the clip is here. The clip groove goes to the outside. And there that is. And now, see that goes like that. Then you have to turn it to get it off. You turn it and it, it locks on. I can't show you the inside of it now because it's on there. So, now what I got here. not using the supplied grease this is a uh, mobile grease that is marine grade waterproof lithium compound I can't remember the numbers I can never remember the numbers of this stuff And this is, this is super, super, super good grease. Never had any try. I, I use it all the time. Super good. And I put the, some, you know, the grease in here. So it holds, uh, holds the balls in when we put it together. And I'm going to... put an ample supply. Now it, it didn't come through but not all of them. We're gonna mash it until you see it coming out around your your bearings. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna Okay, that looks like about what we had. And then we're going to take this and and slide it in. I'm trying to hold, you know, I can't see the screen on the camera, so I'm I'm guessing that um, you can see most of this. I'm going to get our snap ring. This one is much easier than that little one. pull make sure it doesn't come out and we're going to rotate it and get that grease see now the grease is really coming through that ball carrier So, I'm going to pack some more grease in here, in here, and down in the, uh, in dust boot, and then we'll put the clamps on and call it done. And now we're going to take and get our boot, dust boot. Just like that. Like I said, everything doesn't go perfect first try. So we're gonna take our big boot band. And where's my I don't know where they're at. They're over here covered with a rag. We're gonna take this new
boot band and open it up and we're gonna place it where it needs to be And my fingers are all greasy. <clears throat> and you hear the click, you're in. Okay, I will put this swarthy little bugger around here. And Get that where it needs to be. Okay, now we got her. Same process. And there's your boot band. One CV joint, new boot, new grease. Now I'm going to go slip her back in. <coughs> and there's that. Alright, here we are back at the table. We're going to pop these out of the ends. Because we got new ones. Yeah, those are really bad. And see, that bushing just comes right out. Or the not the bushing is the well it is a bushing and those are garbage so now we have to get the actual bushings out of there then I gotta find something I can put down in there to press them out yeah these are down in here a ways and they're they're not super thick. I'd 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 really like to use the hydraulic press to, to push them out, but you gotta get something down in there and hook. You know, just get on the what little bit of an edge they have inside there. They're not you ain't got much of a a surface to get on and to get something in there with the press you just have to have the first side out. So and there's that. And then I'll take the drill with a little wire brush and clean it up inside. Take some of these and it's quite obvious which side is which. The little ones in the little side. Now we're gonna put 
put a little grease in there. Because this is the only grease it's ever going to get. So, because there's no fittings. So, that down in there Lube this up, even though most of it's going to squirt right back out. <laughs> now we'll get the other one. Of course, there's paper stuck to it. We got plenty of grease here. We don't need the paper. Then we do that. And then we take these. And then we pop them in. Okay, we got new bushings built. And now I'm going to finish putting this back together. And uh, I showed you how to take it apart, and putting it back together is uh, exactly the opposite. So we're going to stop here and put it together. Now we're moving the whole machine. That's a good wiggle. And that would also be a good wiggle wiggle. Nothing's loose, nothing's worn now. Everything's replaced. So, so now we can let it down. Everything's fixed. Everything's ready for the next ride. Like you saw in the last video, we did the air cleaner and we checked everything and we found them problems. And now we fixed them. One thing. I should have added one thing I should have added in the last video something else to check is your your CVT belt um, if you have never replaced your drive belt you should probably do it because it will fail on you out on the trail 
if you don't maintain it, upkeep it, uh, if you don't replace it, um, it will. <laughs> and, well, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, we're going to wrap this here video up. You all have a good day. And you have a good riding experience. Stay safe. And I'll see you out on the trail.